What's up, everybody? It's your boy A-Dub here with another exciting tutorial on how to do voiceovers. Okay, I know you've all heard about how voiceovers can make you money, and there's a lot of money in voiceovers. And you might be recording a personal project, and one of your actors might have set a line that you want to record over because he probably didn't deliver it as good as you'd like him to. Okay, now there are a few programs that you can do voiceovers in. One is, of course, Final Cut Pro. Final Cut Pro has a little plug-in in the menu drop-down. I'm not sure what menu it is, but you, it, there is a voiceover plug-in, and it opens up a little plug-in that looks like a square, and you can press record, and it records. But when you get that audio, you don't get that many options that you can do to, like, um, effects and whether you want to, you know, adjust the audio levels and things of that nature. You don't get very many options. Now, this program called Logic Pro I've been recording with for years, and, um... There is a option that you can open up your actual video file and it just opens up the video minus the audio. The audio is still there, but it just opens up the video and when you press play, it plays along with the playhead of the um, of the track. So that's pretty cool and Logic Pro allows you to like adjust as many parameters to that audio wave as you want to and add effects that's built in in Logic. So let's do it. Boom, Logic Pro. Oh, oh, I do one voiceovers. Oh, oh. Okay, sorry. All right, um, I'm running Logic Pro 9. I'm not sure if this works in younger versions of Logic, but we're going to cross our fingers and hope it does. You check it out in your younger version of Logic and tells me if, tell me if it works. Okay, now you can use this option right here called Music for Picture but we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna show you how to do it from scratch. So open up an empty project. Bam, open up an empty project. Okay, create, boom, create in that empty project. Damn. <laughs> okay, sorry. All right, so first thing I like to do before I record on Logic, I like to go to um, record, my recording options, and you see where it says when beginning, count in one bar. No, I don't wanna, count in one bar. I want to start recording when I press record. So put that to none. Metronome. Click, click. I don't need anybody to tell me if I'm on beat or not because I'm always on beat because that's how I do. Anyway, click while recording. Turn that off. And polyphonic click. I like to turn that off also. Boom. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to file. Open movie. Oh, you didn't even know that was there. Open movie. And guess what that does? Um, go into your... Um, into your documents here click on your movie and find where your clip is which one is mine voiceover mix I made a little puppet of me right here with a mask on I'm gonna open up and I'm gonna we're gonna do a voiceover for that one as you can see a screens opened up of your movie so let me shrink that because it opens up mad big let me show you something cool. You open this up and you see the video and you have audio to the video. The audio is there, but it's not going to play when you press the playhead in Logic Pro. And check this out. If I press the space bar and start playing this playhead, it go, my video starts right along with it. So you don't have to worry about syncing or anything like that because it's going to be synced already. So, as normal, you arm the track that you're about to record on arm in the track where you're gonna record at it's just for tutorial purposes recording on a desktop voice over save all right now track is on go back to the beginning press record I'm I don't know what this puppet is gonna say so I'm just gonna say anything okay so for the sake of recording hi my name's Alan hey I'm doing a voiceover tutorial you guys want to come out? I'll show you how to do it like me. Okay. So, you got that track. Let's play it back. See what we got. Okay. So, you see, I just recorded a voiceover. It wasn't synced with the lips, but of course, when you do it, you're going to sync it with the lips to make sure everything is perfect. And what you're going to do is... Let me unarm this track. You're going to take this wave right cheer okay let's play ahead you're gonna take this track right here and you're gonna bounce it out file bounce and let's bounce it to the desktop boom let's call this voice over 
and we're gonna bounce it as a wave to the desktop now I'm sorry I'm not doing a zoom in with the mouse thing I don't know how to do that maybe one of you guys can show me how to do that uh, but until then I don't know how to do that to show you guys when I'm clicking like a closer view anyway voice over wave desktop bounce the bounce is not the voice over wave okay so let's close this out and see what we got close okay all right so now guess what we got on our desktop we got this voiceover wave that we just bounced out i also bounced out an mp3 of it but we got the voiceover wave so what you're going to do is you're going to open up your um editing software that you got that clip that move of the movie that you're editing i don't know whether it's going to be iMovie or you guys doing it on premiere pro or you guys are working with logic pro you import that wave file and Boom. You can either edit that WAV file in Logic Pro or you can edit that WAV file in the production um, suite that you're using to edit your video. You got the WAV file. Let's listen to it. Open with, let's say we open with a QuickTime player. There you go. Boom. Now you guys know how to do a voiceover. Uh, so fly. You're welcome. Let me know if this is helpful, if there's anything else I can um, add on or, or like elaborate on. I just figured out how to do this. I use this one a few times for class, and that's about it. But, um, yeah, I hope this helps somebody. Like, I know there was once once upon a time where I didn't know how to what program to use to voiceovers. I thought there was maybe a special voiceover program that you had to buy or something. But, no, it's in programs that we used to make beats, um, you know, edit our movies. It's, it's, it's already there. So, like, this is we could do it now we can make the, our our final projects that much more professional so that we can achieve our goals in video making excellence damn i like the way i put that okay anyway a dub productions i hope that was real helpful visit me a dub productions.com visit the artist site a dub.com go on itunes and buy the album search a dub album's called rocking with the best and you know show your boy some love like Subscribe, comment, you know, tell your friends to check out the videos. I got some music videos on here. I'll be making more videos. Um, I'm going to try to do this thing like every week now because, um, you know, I think the, these tutorials are very helpful to people. And if I can't help somebody else out, like, what good am I in life? Like, you know, find the highest building and jump. Anyway, yeah. Um, Happy holidays and uh, Merry Christmas. That was a couple days ago, and Happy New Year's. Let's make some more great tutorials and share stuff with each other in the new year. All right, have a good one, y'all. A dub. I'm out.